All right, so I'm uh, Preston Wynn. I work for Promethean, and uh, we're here at ASCD enjoying the, uh, all the teachers and administrators that are coming through and showing them some of our new solutions that we have. Uh, but we provide hardware, software, and uh, content, professional development solutions for teachers to you know, help uh, engage their kids, make their lessons more interactive and less you know, sort of didactic. Uh, and we've got our amazing uh, active bus here. The active bus is great. It allows us to take all these solutions, which are kind of hard to talk to people about. You have to show them. So it allows us to take this uh, on the road, go to the smallest or the biggest districts out there, rural, urban, and roll it in and set it up and be able to have great conversations with them, their students, parents, teachers, everybody that's involved, um, and show them what their classroom could become. So you want to go inside and take a peek? Great, we'd love to. Let's go. All right, let's check it out. Hey, come with us. Come inside the active bus. So welcome to our uh, Promethean Active Bus. This is a, a mobile active classroom, if you will. So all of Promethean's education solutions are highlighted here in our Active Bus. And what we do with this bus, we have uh, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. And if you're a district or a school that can't get out to conferences like ASCD, um, then we'll schedule an event and we'll bring the bus and the active classroom to you. We bring students in, we bring teachers, administrators, superintendents, anybody that's interested in how they can um, you know, Im improve education in their classroom and bring this technology to their students. So um, here we have our, our full uh, solution set. This is our learner uh, response system. So we have our active expression version two. These are our new learner response. Allows for text, uh, numeric, multiple choice, true, false, uh, lots of different ways you can get feedback from your students using um, our new version two active expressions. Uh, very similar is our active vote. This is great for your primary students, special needs students. Um, this is great for multiple choice, true, false, yes, no types questions. Very easy to use for the teacher as well as the student. And then we, we are featuring our new um, Active Engage mobile series, which uh, brings the learner response directly to the devices that students might bring to school. So your iPads, your iPods, your Android devices. Um, and it, it works just the same way as your Active Expression, but we're uh, using the students' technology that they already have um, in, the, in their bags. Um, and then as well as Active Engage, which is on your laptop series. So if you're a school that has a one-to-one -one initiative and, and students have their own laptops or iPads, then you would want to work with um, Active Engage and, and utilize learner response that way. Um, here we're featuring our new uh, Active Board 500 series. So let me just go ahead and turn that on for you here. Um, and this is our, our five, uh, 587 Pro. So this allows for touch as well as uh, your pen technology like you're used to with your active board probably. And then we'll take a walk back here to the, acti to the back of the bus. And this is kind of fun. This tells you some, some uh, stats here about Promethean Planet. It's the world's largest interactive whiteboard community. It's free for you to sign up. We have over a million members there on Planet. And if you look here, we have 56,000 resources available for you, teachers, that have been created, uploaded, um, and, and available for you to download. Um, and, and some great publisher-created resources, too, there. Uh, this is kind of fun. This is just where the bus is headed, what's going on with the active bus. So this bus covers the East Coast. Used to be all over the country, but now we actually have a, a bus out west as well. So you can see the next stop for um, for this bus is in Newark, New Jersey. So if you're up there and, and you want the bus to come or you want to find out a little more information about the bus, you can follow the bus on Twitter at uh, Promethean USA or Active Bus USA. So go ahead and check that out. And uh, so that, that's basically our bus. Pretty cool. We're excited about it. Everybody loves to see the bus uh, on the streets. So uh, be on the lookout because it might be in a town near you. All right, so let's head back outside. We got a few things that we're featuring here at ASCD. Uh, one is our brand new active table. I think you'll be really excited to see what that's all about. Uh, we also have a new partnership with HMH, so Cute uh, Mifflin Harcourt, a math series, so we'll highlight that for you. And then finally, a great new partnership with Channel One News. You may be familiar with Channel One News, so I'll tell you a little bit about that too when we get out there. So come on out, let's take a look at the active table first. 
running? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So tell our friends here a little bit about the new Active Table, guys. So the Active Table is a brand new product from Promethean. It's not even out yet, but we're here at AC ASCD uh, previewing it to all attendees. And you know, Promethean's been well known for years for our interactive whiteboards, which is a lot about interactivity with your students. And it's largely, most of the time, it's a whole classroom instruction piece. Um, and then we're also well known for our learner response devices, uh, where students or teachers can ask students questions and get all, you know, simultaneous, simultaneous feedback from everybody. This table sort of sits between the two. So this is about small group collaboration. So this is anywhere from one to six students sitting around and working on projects together. And the focus of it is actually to provide a, a multi-touch surface so they can interact with it in as, in as many ways as possible, um, but that they have to have consensus and collaboration when they're doing a project. So what we've done is we've created a menu system that you can see here that is very easy to navigate. And if, for example, she's on that side, she can rotate this around, or I can rotate it, so that no one's sort of leading the charge. Everybody is equally involved. There's no advantage to sitting on one part of the table. Easy to use. So we've created 70 activities to begin with. Um, and I guess there's a lot we could show you. Maybe we'll start with, uh, we have, we've created some around nat natural disasters that are kind of fun. So just to give you a sense, so let's select this activity for example, and you'll notice each person has an avatar where they are. This could be a picture of themselves. We all have to agree to do the activity, so we're all going to click OK, and it'll start the activity. So what this activity is, if each of you will take a piece of this paper, and your avatar is also a toolbox. So what I'd like you to do is you'll click on your avatar and you'll pull out this one right here, which is a keyboard, the one that says ABC. Just click and drag it out. Good. All right, so everyone's got a keyboard. If you want to reposition it, grab this gray area at the bottom because it won't move if you grab a keyboard. And then if you'll take your piece of paper here and just drag it right into the middle of the keyboard, good. And that now attaches it and we're going to be able to type on it now. So if each of you will type one word related to the topic. We have earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis, a single word. Um, you know, I know it's your first time using it, so if you make some mistakes, don't worry about it too much, but there is a backspace. Works just like a regular keyboard. Okay, so if we do this, so let's say she's still working on hers. Um, I want to kind of share something with you though while she's still working. See this little uh, icon here? Um, if you'll touch that one for me. What this is, is it's suggesting that we share our work with each other now. So everyone click yes. You wait, Joni. Oh, you did it. That's okay. The point was if she's still working, it's not going to switch them until she's ready. So it's, it's about consensus. So we've all switched now. So everybody has someone else's work now. And I'd like you to add a word to the work that someone else did. So go ahead and add another word, like hit return, go down to the next line, and let's add another word. So use backspace would work. Good. Okay. So has everybody written their second word? So we could repeat that if there were four users or six users, we could keep going until everybody's contributed. Now there's also a button right here, um, which if you'll click on there, See that one? I want you to click on that. What we're going to do is, I'm going to suggest that we share it with the teacher. Let's show the teacher what we've done now. Everybody has to agree that we're ready to do this, so we'll all click yes. And uh, so now it's actually going to create a file in Promethean software, which is called Active Inspire. And this is something that we can share with the teacher. Either we can share it on a USB drive, which it's going to ask me for now, or we can just view it right here. So it'll process for just a second. And this is going to create a, what we call a flip chart. And um, this will give us a lot of information, but more than just what we ended up with. So what we've got here is a flip chart, basically. This is sort of a screenshot of what we were doing. Individually, we can see the end result for each topic. So what words were typed for each topic? Earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanoes. Then as we go down here, what we see is actually each student the total amount of time it took to do the activity and the amount of time and, and sort of their percentage of time that they interacted with it. So as teacher, you get a sense from this of who's participating, how much are they participating, is it unbalanced, is there one person doing too much? 
And then it goes on, it has each individual student uh, and the tools that they use. In this case, we just used the keyboard. But if this was a math activity and we had used our protractor, our ruler, our web browser, those would all be individually listed here. So we can go through each student. At the end, we actually share with the teacher what we call a heat map that shows the finger touches at each space. So you can see here in my space, I didn't do anything. So that would be a, an important piece of information for the teacher to know. Um, but it gives us a sense of how people are interacting and is everybody participating. So that's the active table. And there's a lot of things we could show you. But that's a brief uh, view of uh, what the active table does. And there's uh, 70 activities. This will be out later this summer. And it's a part of Promethean's whole Classroom, classroom solution. So, thanks for stopping by. Great. So, uh, great, great information about our new active table. Why don't you come over here and I'll tell you a little bit about our new partnership with Channel One News. So, you may be familiar with Channel One News. Uh, they have been around for the last 20 years, bringing current events, um, daily news to middle and high schools. With the new partnership with uh, Promethean, now we have an offering for your elementary schools, so grades three through five. You can see we're running um, Channel One News here on our active board. So, uh, so this is an interactive news broadcast now. So all network through your school, um, inter interactivity built into it as well as use of your learner response device. So if you have active expression or active vote, active engage, which I told you about inside the bus, it's going to work great with uh, it's seamlessly embedded into Channel One News now, as well as content every day. A flip chart um, is provided for you for all five common core subject areas, so math, science, reading, social studies, and geography. Um, a page for you every day comes with the news, so aligned to common core standards and related to whatever the news topics are for the day. So these are meant to be, you know, bell ringers, transition activities. So as your students transition from language arts to math, you might put the math page up that we've provided for you. Very simple, very easy to use. And again, makes learning authentic for the kids because it's whatever's happening in the world today. So our new partnership with Channel One News is available now. For more information on that, you can go to prometheanworld.com forward slash Channel One News. There's a great professional development built into it as well for the teachers. So if you're brand new to this technology and our software, every day we highlight three new skills on how to use our technology and active inspire our software. So, so great benefits for the teacher and the students. So content, daily embedded professional development, as well as an interactive news broadcast now. Keep your kids current with current events. It's really important uh, that kids know what's happening in the world today. So Channel One News, PromethianWorld.com forward slash Channel One News for more information. I'm going to take you over now to another new partnership that we've just announced recently with HMH, and that's a brand new math series. So uh, come with me and we'll go visit Kathy and take a look at uh, some samples of HMH. Hi. So we can make sure that they what we're going to talk about, what we're looking at here is some content that we've created in partnership with Mifflin Harcourt. Promethean's always been the leader in the technology for a classroom, but we've heard what districts and educators are asking for, and they're asking for really good quality interactive content. So what we've done with this partnership is developed a flip chart to go with every lesson in Mifflin Harcourt's Encore Math Series. So in grades kindergarten through 11, the full suite is over a thousand flip charts. But one of the great things about these flip charts is that they are aligned to Common Core standards. So if you're using another publisher's textbook series for math, you can use these flip charts because as we look at this document, which is the teacher notes for the, this particular lesson, you'll see down on the very first page, you'll get the Common Core standard being addressed by this lesson, and then a little tool guide for the lesson. And let's look at one more page. For the teachers, these are all their teaching directions for this particular flip chart. How to use the whiteboard, how to teach the math, and if there's any kind of a question on the page, the answers will be there as well, making it very easy for a teacher to get this. Let's go back to our flip chart. These arrows will turn our pages. So we're going to be working 
on equivalent fractions. This is a lesson that's from the fourth grade textbook, for the Go Math textbook from Cook Mifflin. Each of these arrows is going to show us some information about the problem. It's going to give us some student workspace. Here's a model. So we're comparing fourths to eighths. Here's a model that's going to show us the relationship. And then the student interaction piece is for a student to come to the board, use the pen tool to complete this statement. Okay? One of the great features about these flip charts is that every tool needed to work with the page is in the tool tray at the bottom. So all that the teacher or student would need to work with this page is in this tool section. This teacher notes button would open just the directions for this particular page. So if a teacher had a substitute, they could come in, look at the directions, and teach from this page. If I click this tool, let me click it a second time, that's page reset. So now I'm ready to go with the next class, next year, next semester. You don't have to recreate this, this piece of teaching material, which for a teacher, that's a very huge time saver. These flip charts are, are usable on any interactive whiteboard. So if you have a whiteboard from a company other than Promethean, you can use these flip charts. So any interactive whiteboard, any math curriculum, these flip charts can be used in your classrooms. They use our software called Active Inspire. They use the personal edition, which is free. But because all the tools are across the bottom, the teacher doesn't need to learn another software program. I'm going to open the page browser so I can show you quickly that we have, with these lessons, we have built an assessment. So in the context of the lesson, the teacher can quickly ask the question, the students would use one of our learner response devices to send their response, which is captured by the software and saved so the teacher can go back and review it later. If a teacher doesn't have our learner response devices, they can still use this page and have their students respond in any way that they would like. And this the answer button will quickly show them the correct answer. So we've built so much into these pages to make them very easy to use for teachers. All right, so it's time for us to go. We hope you've had a great time. And uh, we're out of here. We'll see you next year at ASCD. Take care.